Hey guys, it's Lori. It is Monday. I think it's the 6th of January, 2020. It's 2020. Can you believe it? We made it. Okay. Um, it's Monday and I want to jump back in for the new year, jump back into motivation and manifestation. So I don't know if I'm going to have motivation Monday or manifestation Monday, or maybe I'll Go back and forth. I don't know. But today I want to talk about both, basically. I want to help to motivate you to manifest the best life you can have today. Now, that being said, I don't want to say your best life ever or your best life that could ever be because this is the physical plane. We are all leaving the physical plane. It's going to get better than this. Okay? So, but you know what, let's do some changing. Let's do some positive changes that we can really see, that we can verify, and let's validate our worth. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It is Monday, as I said before, and I don't know, motivation, motivational meditation... Or manifesting Monday, which I guess whichever one, right? Um, I just want to talk a little bit about manifesting. I mean, we're coming into the new year. So many people had such a rough time, especially, you know, I would say like mid to end of um, last year. Not everybody, but a lot of people did. And uh, I know I got kind of off track. So I want to get back into it. I'm going to restart the manifesting um, group and just... If you don't know, just an FYI, the manifesting group is not only about manifestation and law of attraction and all that. In fact, yes, the law of attraction is real, but there's more. There's more than just the law of attraction. So many people focus on just the law of attraction. And you got to understand that God made this great big universe and he made these laws and principles to make it work together. Not only in the physical realm, but in the etheric field and you know, for so that we can work things together. Now, some of some people who teach like the law of attraction or things like that, um, just kind of leave it at that. So, okay, if you do this and you think positive and you envision this and you really believe it and it doesn't happen, well, then somehow it's your fault. I'm not of that belief system. I have come to learn and I'm still learning. I don't know everything there is to know, but I'm still learning that there's more than just the law of attraction. There's the law of awareness. There's the law of attention, you know, and I don't know if these are technically laws, but I know that they're principles and I know that they work and I know that they all work in conjunction with each other. So every Monday, I'm hoping to get together um, obviously not this Monday because nobody knows about it, but I'm hoping to do that. I'm going to have some other groups coming up too. If you're interested, please shoot me an email and, and we'll talk about it and talk about all the other stuff I do. Anyway, this is Simmy. This is my girl, Simmy. Um, <clears throat> she's my, oh gosh, how old are you, Sim? I think she's 10 or 11, something like that. Um, anyhow. Okay. So just real quick, a couple different things. And I'm not going to, I mean, there's so much stuff to talk about. But for the new year, if you're really hoping for some change, whether it be change in relationships, change in work, change in uh, um, uh, family, or, or if there's some kind of financial issue or a relationship issue or anything like that, empowerment, um, learning to stick up for yourself, communication, all of those things kind of play in cutting those soul ties, cutting those cords with people that are in unhealthy relationships with you um, and not healthy for you. Um, changing the scenery, so to speak, you know, and creating a new life. There's a whole lot that we're about here. So it's not just about like do this and manifest. But so to start off the year, this is, and I know I'm rambling, I'm very sorry, but um, goals. I find that making goals, choosing uh, what you're going to focus on, you know, choosing what you're going to call to yourself, that's a goal, What you know. Um, and I think I, for myself, daily goals and then weekly goals and then they get bigger. I don't like to go, you know, I think a lot of times why I like um, New Year's resolutions don't work for people is because they like, I'm going to do this 
and it's a big thing and then it's overwhelming and they might say well these principles and laws don't work nothing ever happens well maybe you're making it outside if it's outside of your realm of belief it's outside of your grasp okay so you have to be able to imagine it believe it see it you know um, people say seeing is believing it's no it's believing is seeing believing is manifesting believing is bringing it to you now there are things that'll come in and I'll, we'll get to that in another video but for now Goal setting is great. Write it down or record it somehow. If you hate to write, and I'm all for getting that handy dandy notebook for more than this, but write down your goals, you know. Make them doable. Push yourself. Go a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but make them doable, you know. Um, sorry about that. Somebody got into my dinner and knocked it over. Um, so that's for goal setting. And if you set goals you know, at a comfortable level, but just, just outside of your comfort zone, and then you accomplish them, you're going to feel empowered. You're going to feel like, hey, I accomplished something. And it's going to give you more confidence, and you're going to move forward. You'll be able to make bigger goals and bigger goals and bigger goals. Okay, so that's number one. That's not manifesting. That's just getting going, right? Motivating, right? Um, take every negative thought captive. What does that mean? That means... You know, you start hearing things, well, you'll never accomplish that goal. Um, are you kidding me? You could never do that. You know, whatever. A lot of times, um, these negative thoughts come in. Or, no wonder he or she doesn't want you. You've never, you're not lovable. Whatever the case may be. Become aware of your thoughts. Now, by doing this little exercise, and I've talked about it before, but if you've never heard it, try it for 24, 48 hours. By doing that, you're going to train yourself two things. Okay, so... Start becoming aware of your thoughts. When you catch yourself having a negative thought, speak aloud a positive word. It has to be short so you can remember it. It has to be true. And it has to be something that is not only true, but that it resonates with you. You believe it. Okay? So it could be something like, I am worthy. I am a daughter of the king. You know, whatever. Um, whatever is comfortable, resonates with you, you believe it, you feel strongly about it, speak it out. What it's going to do is when you speak a word, it interrupts your thought for a second. And you can prove that to yourself by doing this. If I were to tell you, okay, when I say go, in your head, not out loud, but in your head, start counting to 20. Okay, go. Speak your name out loud. When you spoke your name out loud, your thought was interrupted. If only for a moment, that split second gives you enough time to take that thought captive, replace it with a positive word. Now, initially when you start doing this, you may find that, I mean, how many thoughts run through our brain a day? You may find that it's negative thought after negative thought. But you know what? It does two things. Not only will it cap, uh, take captive those negative thoughts and change them, so, so that changes all the energy. But it also trains you to become aware of your thoughts because your thoughts are powerful, right? So um, take it, So first you want to set goals and write them down or record them somehow. Two, you want to um, take every negative thought captive. Three, envision something. What, do you, what is your intention? What do you want to manifest? Let's start out small. Okay, because the two things that we talked about before aren't necessarily manifesting. They're just kind of getting you in a motivational place and in a place of empowerment and a place to be able to do this. Um, what do you want? What is your intention? What do you want? Start with something again, just like your goals. Go a little bit bigger than your goals because we want to go outside of what is natural to us. We want to go a little beyond what we believe is like possible to us because you don't want to manifest something that you do every day that's easy like go to I'm going to manifest my paycheck no because that's you're doing it already you want to go above and beyond don't make it too too big because then you're not going to be able to believe it and then when it doesn't come to pass you're going to validate that it doesn't work right um so just you know make it big enough but not too big, okay? Start small. Same thing. Once you realize this works, then you're going to go for bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? 
this is this is the way things are this cannot fail god cannot fail the only thing that's going to interrupt this or cause it not to work is interference okay Sorry, I had a kitty knocking at the door. I had to go get it. Okay, so set that intention. Envision it. Envision like as if it's already happened, whatever it is. And put yourself there. Even if you're not good at like visualization, like feelings, however you would remember a memory is how you're going to get it, okay? Put yourself in there as if it's already happened. How do you feel? What is it, you know, whatever. Get the whole picture. What is it? What's the weather like? What are you feeling like? What's it, what are the colors around you? What does it smell like? However, like I said, however you would get a memory is the same way you want to do this kind of stuff. So if when you remember something, you visually see it, then you're going to visualize. If when you remember something, you feel it, then you're going to, it, it's going to be sensory, you know? So Get that, get yourself in that place. Now believe that it's true, okay? I, I know it. I believe. See, this is how I do it. See, cause, okay, this is going to, if you can believe it, if you can feel it, if you can know it, if you've got that emotion behind it, the thought behind it, the belief behind it, it's going to happen. I like to say, this, yes, this is my perfect, okay? But I am fallible. So, God, if this is right for me and if this is what it should be, then I trust you that you bring it to me. I trust that if it's not right, that you will make me aware of that and then it, it'll change and I will get, you will always take care of me. That's how I do it I, because I know that we're manifesting all day, every day. And more often than not, we're manifesting the negative. Not intentionally, but it's because what we give our thought to. Okay, so that's like number four, is what you give your focus on is going to grow. So many times people are trying to call something into their life or manifest something, especially when it comes to like relationship or like money, um, health, if it's like, whatever is like, I want it and I want it now, right? There's a sense of desperation in your energy. Even if you're not speaking that, even if you're not, you know, acting desperate, there's the energy is desperate. You're thinking about it all the time. You're fighting with yourself all the time. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Do I just, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Um, what's he, if it's a relationship, what's he doing today? I wonder what he's doing. Let me look him up online. Geez, is he thinking of me? Is she thinking of me? You know? It's desperate. You're actually taking that which you want, whether it's a person, a, a happening, whatever, and you're repelling it. You're not only blocking it, you're repelling it. So if you want to keep it away, keep that up. How do you fix that? Because I know when you're in an obsessive mode, it's really hard to fix. How do you fix it? Deep breath. Four seconds. And fill up your whole lungs, your abdomen, and hold it for four seconds. And then let it out and hold that out for four seconds. Do that three or four times. Have some positive words to say to yourself. You know, and have faith. It's going to happen. Okay? Let it go. Even if you have to envision physically letting it go. The more you catch yourself obsessing, have an accountability partner. Someone you can talk to that's going to say, hey, knock it off. Or, you know, do that to yourself. Record something. Put something on the mirror. Whatever it takes, right? But don't allow yourself to, like, obsess or, or um, you know, like, think about it all the time. Because whatever you feed grows. And you might think, well, I'm feeding my manifestation. No, you're feeding the want of that manifestation. You're feeding the desperation, okay? And that repels. I mean, think about it. Even with us, right? If somebody want you and they're willing to do anything for you that's wonderful but if they become like desperate it blocks you right it's like nah, i don't need that right so you know do some goals do some uh capturing negative thoughts do this manifestation just you know what i i had a manifestation video out there a couple years ago where it's basically just like and you can do this while you're driving a car you can do this while you're sitting there watching tv you can do this in the middle of conversation it doesn't have to be this big long meditation we are many of us are programmed to find a ritual and that makes us believe it even more but this stuff is so simple not easy but simple that you can actually say you know i envision this it's mine thank you and what I, I used to do is say, 
and you can still do it. Like sit back, take some deep breaths, get in a frame of mind, and envision your intention and the end result. You don't need to know how to get there. That's God's job, not yours. Stop trying to figure out the in-between. Um, and it's like, okay, God, show me whatever it is I need to take into my etheric field, my org field, to manifest this immediately. And then just sit there for a minute. And whatever kind of flows through your field, and you feel, you have to take everything that you see, but you feel the urge to take it. Reach out and take it. Put it in your toolbox. Knowing that that's what you need to manifest. I know it sounds silly, but it works. And then just end it with a, thank you so much. And I look forward to this coming to pass. I am so grateful. What, you know, be sincere. Um, and the last one that I want to talk about, and like I said, there's so much more to talk about. I'm going to have like actual ex um, exercises, meditations, hypnosis. Um, we're going to talk about relationships. There's so much more to this. But for today, the last thing I want to talk about, and I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. I want this. To be, I don't want this to be an hour long video. Um, what's your motive? Check your motive. So, you know, in the morning when you wake up and you've got your handy-dandy notebook, and for those of you that hate it, you've got your little recorder or your phone or whatever, wake up in gratitude. What do I have to be grateful for today? Well, you know, whatever it is. Wake up in gratitude. Thank you for waking me up. Even if you feel like, oh, I woke up. Thank, thank you for waking up. Wait, you know, if you feel like you have nothing, thank you that my hands work. Thank you that my legs work. Hi, Oliver. This is my Oliver kid. He's the one that was at the door. Um, hey, hey, that, 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 that. Um, sorry about that. Um, so gratitude in the morning. And then, you know, in the evening, it's a good idea to go through your day and have like a little bit of, okay, accountability. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? You know, kind of, you know, do your inventory of the day. Where am I at? What am I feeling? Was I bitchy? Was I not nice? You know, whatever. And kind of just check yourself. Check yourself. Don't dwell on it. Um, you know, apologize for it. Make amends. You know, whatever you have to do. Um, and then let it go. Don't dwell on it. Don't go to sleep worried about all this stuff. Let it go. Okay? And you're keeping yourself in check by doing that. But also, which leads to what I was trying to say, and I know I have a long way of getting around things. I apologize for that. Um... Thank God for you guys that you listen to me because I ramble. I know I tend to ramble, but the last thing I think it's just as important as number one, they're all just as important. Uh, faith is extremely important. Um, your found, that's your foundation. But what's your motive? What's your motive for wanting to reach those goals? What's your motive for the um, creating or calling to yourself that which you, your intent, that what you want to manifest? What is your motive? Is your motive fear? Is your motive greed? Is your motive revenge? Is your motive love? It should be love. Not just the love of self. It should be love. Everybody involved. I like to think of whatever it is from the smallest thing I want to manifest to the biggest. Like, how does this affect other people? Can I help other people through this? You know? And be honest with yourself. Nobody else is listening, just you and God. Are your motives love or are they really greed or maybe pride or um, ego, you know? Admit it to yourself. And if you can get to a place and say, uh-oh, my motive is anything but love, you want to step back and not put that out there. Cancel, 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 cancel. And come back to fix everything, deal with everything you have to deal with to... Get to that place where your motive is love. I'm not saying you can't motivate. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying you can't manifest if your motive isn't love. I mean, obviously that's not true. We manifest all day, every day. Most, like I said, unfortunately, a lot of the times it's negative. We're always kind of calling about things. Our thoughts are always projecting energy, and it comes back to us. It's like this big. I don't know, energy field where things just go and come and go and come and go and come. 
with fear and anger and happiness and joy and peace and prosperity and fear, you know. So I'm not going to say you can't manifest it if your motive isn't love. But if you can check and say, my motive's love and this is pure, then you're on the right path. You're in the right vibration. You're going down the road you're, you should be going down. Does that mean you're going to have everything in this physical realm that you want? Absolutely not. But it means that you're on the right path of growth. It means that you're on the right path to where you're going. And we're all going to spend somewhere else other than this physical realm in eternity, right? We're all heading to our eternal place. So we got to think of that too. All right. It's, it's amazing to me that people think about their, you know, retirement and, you know, all of that. And as we should, um, you know, even our like burials or whatever, but we don't, we don't put that much effort into when we leave this realm, because you know what? We're all leaving someday. Our bodies are staying behind. If you happen to believe that that's it, it's over, I feel sorry for you because that's really sad. I can't even imagine not having any hope or thought for after this. Anyhow, I could ramble for another 20 minutes. Happy Monday. You know what? This week, so before the next Monday one, you'll see more videos. I'm going to try to do at least one a day, but you'll maybe that won't happen. We might have three a week. But, so this is, I think, the sixth. Friday, this Friday, we're in a full moon and also an eclipse. So we're coming right into the full moon energy because it's four days before and four days after. So we're right there. We're right there. So start. You know, you want change? Time is coming. All right. And again, I'm not going to say there's not going to be any blocks. There's not going to be any. Life's going to happen. Okay. But let's do this together. Together we're stronger. All right, guys. I will see you later.